Hi friends in our Australia camp. Today I'm going to show you how to make an envelope shark because part of Australia is the Great Barrier Reef where there are all kinds of ocean animals including different types of sharks. And really this could be any fish. So what you will need is an envelope, some scissors, something to decorate the envelope, and then some tape or glue. So you take a plain envelope just like this and you're going to cut the envelope right here. You'll see if you lift the flap, there's kind of a triangle shape here. I'm gonna use a, a pen to show you where the triangle shape is. And you might need a grown up to help you with this part and that is okay. That triangle right there, you're gonna cut that triangle out right through the envelope. So I'm gonna lift the flap, I'm not gonna cut the flap. If you cut the flap, that's okay too. So I'm gonna cut along my triangle right at the edge here. And you can see, it's starting to look a little bit more like a shark. Now, I am going to use the triangle that I just cut out for the top fin. Now, what you'll notice is the triangle has two layers. So I'm actually gonna cut it off, I'm gonna keep just the top one for my top fin. So you can cut it in half, just like this. And now you wanna attach your fin to the top of your shark. Now, which side you want to be the front is up to you. I think today I'm gonna have this side be the front. When I made, yeah, I usually keep the flap as the back, but it's really up to you. So I'm gonna take tape, but you could also use white glue, you could use a stapler, you could use a glue stick, but I'm gonna use tape and I'm gonna tape my fin up at the top of my envelope. There we go. So that it's nice and firm in place. And while we're cutting and taping, if you want, you could also do some teeth on your shark. I got some yellow paper. I'm gonna cut a strip of paper out. Not too thick, because you don't want the teeth to be too big. And then do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna cut some triangles out of my paper. Now you might need a grown up to help you get the triangle shapes, but they can do the lines and then you can cut along the lines and get some triangles. Because I think triangles make a good shark tooth shape. Now, most fish don't have teeth, but sharks have a lot of teeth. So I'm gonna cut a couple triangles out and then I'm gonna take my tape, here's my triangles and I'm going to glue it, or I'm gonna use tape, and tape down a few of my teeth. And you know what, my teeth are really big, so I am only gonna tape down a couple of my teeth. Let's see here. I'm gonna do one on the top and one on the bottom. It's gonna be a very silly shark. Next is the funnest part. You get to decorate the front of the shark. Today I'm gonna to use tempera paint. You can also use crayon. You can see on my first shark, I just used a gray crayon. And it has that texture because I did the gray crayon over a tray that kind of had this texture on it. But today I'm gonna paint and I'm gonna use brushes, but I'm also gonna use forks because you get a really fun texture when you paint with forks. And I'm gonna have that represent the scales of the shark that are really rough to touch. Make sure you ask a grown up before you use a fork in your house for art. Sometimes you might not wanna use your forks for eating when you're doing an art project. So I've got some red and I'm gonna do a little with my brush. I also have some blue here. I'm gonna do the fin blue, I think. And you can see, look, I'm working on a mat. I'm working on my lone mountain mat so I don't make a mess on the table. Do a little blue at the bottom here. And then I'm gonna take a fork and I'm gonna dip it in the paint, just like this. And I'm gonna press the fork up and down to give my shark kind of a texture all over its body. And if there's already paint, you can still press the fork there and it will give it kind of a certain type of texture. And do a little red as well. Now it's up to you if you wanna mix your paints or not. We really like to use plastic forks at school, but I actually don't have any plastic forks in my house. So I'm gonna use some of my kitchen forks and then wash them right away. And up and down, and that's how you get a nice fork texture. And then at the very end for mine, I'm gonna glue an eyeball onto my shark. You could also draw an eyeball once it's dry, or you could use a sticker eye if you have any. 
I've got a googly eye and I've got some white glue here. So I'm just gonna do one little dot and then I'm gonna put it down right here. And then I have to let it dry, but I'm gonna show you what my shark looks like. And that's what it looks like at the end. So that's how you make a shark using an envelope. Pretty fun, huh? All right, friends, see you soon.